Hi everybody, this is Isabel, the bell half of Paybell. Welcome back to our channel and happy 2021 once again. Uh, this video I'm going to be putting away the last few trades and purchases that I made in 2020, setting up for 2021 a little bit and talking about what my collection goals are for photo card and inclusion trading uh, in 2021. Uh, Pay made their video already, their last talk and trade, which was great. I love seeing what they are interested in collecting, especially because their goals are so different than mine. Uh, we are fans of a lot of the same groups, but our philosophies towards album collecting and photo card collecting are a little bit different so it's always interesting to see what jumps out to them and what jumps out to me so hopefully between our videos you will find something that matches your plans or you might uh, become interested in a new group and if so we would love to hear about it um goodness knows that there is so much k-pop stuff out there and it is really interesting and exciting to make new friends and to talk about different people's collections and uh, everybody's techniques and what jumps out to them. So I hope you enjoy my video. And without further ado, let's begin. So I have a few miscellaneous cards to put away. Uh, this binder here is my miscellaneous binder. So I have a binder for 17, a binder for twice, and then a binder for every other group that I collect. So this one is my miscellaneous binder. One of the first things that I need to put away is my last Jiyoon card from We Can era from Weekly. So this is her last album card that I need to complete this era. Now Weekly have a lot of photo cards out there already. Um, their pre-debut cards are in circulation um, and can go for quite a lot. Uh, that is not really <laughs> what I'm looking to do. Uh, my primary goal in 2020 was to complete Jiyoon's album cards and I have done that so yay. Um, Ideally, what I would like to do is to finish trading off all of the album cards that I have left over, the Make Star pre-orders that I have left. I would love to sell those or trade those for some of the pre-order cards that I'm missing. I know I have the My Music Taste one, I believe, or the second round of one of them uh, that I'm missing, so... I would like that. I'm not looking to overpay. I said it in my weekly collection video, um, but there are a few cards that I would like. I think primarily I'm going to collect Jiyoon, uh, as you can see, but I'm also drawn to some of the other members. So uh, if there's a card that jumps out to me, I'm going to collect those. Right now I'm looking especially at one Sewn card. Uh, if you have it for trade, I am happy to trade for it. Um, I'm not looking to buy uh, until I finished trading or selling off my current cards, so we will see how that goes. I also purchased these amazing Luna AR photos from K Contact 2020. Now, the second I saw these, I knew I had to have them. Um, as some of you may know, I am currently furloughed uh, from work at a Disney park, um, and I've loved Disney for a long time. So when I saw that they had physical versions of their Disney princess outfits from their performance at K Con, I knew I had to have them. Uh, they were pretty hard to come by, um, but then uh, one seller started selling uh, several sets off. They probably purchased them to resell, so they were definitely a little bit expensive, but I really, really love them. I think they're super beautiful. Everybody looks amazing. Look at Eve and Sophia. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely not holding that in frame. Sorry, <laughs> but I think they are all so beautiful. So I knew I had to add them to my collection. I love Luna, but I don't necessarily uh, collect them. I don't have any of their albums, but I do have the Luna Bong, uh, just because it is such a beautiful light stick. I think that it is a great addition to anyone's collection. So I don't plan on collecting any new girl groups 
in 2021 unless somebody really 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 catches my eye um as you can see i kind of have a miscellaneous girl group section going on i have a couple of g friend cards wecky mecky red velvet and then of course our late great Kristen. So for now, since I don't have enough three pockets, I am going to double up on these. I don't think that's even going to be enough, but we will see. How did these get so out of order? But once I buy some more three pockets, then... These will look much better, I think. sense for them to be like this so then the great one can stay horizontal. Mm -hmm. So for my girl groups this year, that is all I have uh, from 2020. Um, with my Momoland collection, I am looking to complete all of the album photo cards. I know getting her Wonderful Love photo card is going to be really, really hard um, because Wonderful Love, the Kino kit is out of print. Um, the cheapest one I saw was going for 100 and that was only with the postcards and not the photo cards so hopefully I can find the wonderful love photo card and I believe I only have one more I need to have Selka photo card for freeze and then uh, we are in really good shape. There are only a few more things that I would like for my Teha collection. But of course it's slow going because a, she's no longer with the group. But B, uh, not a lot of people collect Momoland. Even though their last comeback was incredible. Please, please, please go check out Ready or Not. Uh, it was an amazing song, an amazing concept. Talked about weekly. With Gongwon Sonyo, I am really, really hoping to uh see a comeback this year so we can see how that goes uh, i'm not really looking to complete these uh just trade off what i have so right now i believe that i am pretty satisfied with how my gwsn collection looks i don't think i have anything else to trade off you can check my instagram to double check um but i think this looks really nice so i think i might leave it like this for now <laughs> For my Fromus 9 collection, uh, I am again looking to complete my little society. I only have one more album card and one more pre-order card in terms of the solos uh, that I need to pick up for Cheung. Um, and I know I have another copy of this one coming <laughs> for whatever reason. I was really, really lazy at the end of 2020 about trying to keep track of what I have traded. So I accidentally traded for a lot of doubles. So anticipate those on my Instagram. But I think that will look really good. For my miscellaneous boy groups, um, I have thought about what I want to do with NCT. NCT photo cards, you guys, NCT photo cards are so expensive. Why are NCT photo cards so expensive? And citizens, let's talk. The only people making us pay that much is us. One photo card for $30 for an in-print Korean album that you can go buy at Target? That's not it. Like, I can't. <laughs> like, I know I sound very serious right now because 
<laughs> it's outrageous. I would love to collect Do Young, and I would also love to collect Hichan and Sungchan, but that's not realistic right now. Um, just because, especially with Kinos and especially with everything, it is impossible to find something if you are not obscenely rich. Stop and city capitalism. It's a crime. It's not a crime, but we need to help each other <laughs> because this is ridiculous. Album photo cards should not cost that much. Um, and Pentagon, I am just looking to collect w what I already have. So uh, I'm not really looking to complete any collections here um, just because I find them uh, not really necessary <laughs> for me personally. Um, they're not one of my priorities, but I definitely make it a point to pick up their new album. So if I decide to pick up some of their backlog, definitely see about collecting uh, Kino. I might trade off some of these Yanans for Kino. Um, again, we'll see. I don't actually have a... <laughs> so what you might be gathering is I don't actually have a plan for a lot of these. Uh, a lot of the time I just pick up albums that I think are really good and then I'll trade for my bias for those. I'm pretty low maintenance in that regard. I'm not really a completionist when it comes to the majority of the groups that I'm interested in. Oh, but I am totally forgetting. Um, I have gotten into Stray Kids. <laughs> I, okay, I say it that way. I say it that way because I really, really, really never expected it to happen. But it has happened, um, so I will be picking up some Stray Kids albums. I don't have a bias yet. I have a strong, strong suspicion of who it will be. I would love you to tell me who you think my Stray Kids bias is going to be. Comment it down below. I would love to see it. Um, but uh, I have fallen in love with their music and with their personalities. They're really, really, really great guys. Um, and I'm excited to see what happens with them and my stayification in 2021. So anticipate a Stray Kids <laughs> video at some point in the future, both from Pei and myself, because we have both fallen into whatever the Stray Kids equivalent of the Diamond Life is. And yes, that's cheesy, but that's kind of how I feel about it. So that's that on that. Oh. I also don't have any twice photo cards to put away, but I am very close to being finished with my Jungyeon album photo card collection. Um, so I am really, really hoping to finish that sometime soon so I can show you my full collection in a twice collection video. So look forward to that. What I have the most of is 17. And yes, I love this binder. <laughs> um, because it's so cute. I love vintage stuff and Chibimaru is one of my favorite Sanrio characters and tell me that doesn't remind you of Ningyu. Just saying. So I have a few Ning Hall photo cards to put away from trades and such. I have the sunset. Director's Cut photo card. Ugh. And I am so sorry, this is going to be absolutely miserable for you to watch me put these in here um, because these sleeves are like a literal millimeter too big for these pockets. I need to invest in the same ones that Pay has. Uh, because that will make all of this so much easier. I think that will look a lot nicer. So for 17, my collection goals are to try to finish my Korean album photo card collection for Ming Hall and uh, make a dent in my Joshua collection. And I'll talk more about that when I put away the Joshua cards that I have here. the sound wave card here and the beat road card uh, these ones are the fan sign cards from semicolon era 
and I ordered these on a group order. Yeah, this is miserable. <laughs> My gosh, don't they look so nice? Semicolon had a lot of uh, fan sign photo cards and so did Hengare to be honest. I'm not looking to collect all of them because they can run kind of expensive but some of my favorites I will definitely be picking up. I don't like to say that I'm a completionist even though I kind of am. <laughs> I just want everything to look nice and while I think I will feel an immense sense of pride when I finish my album photo cards, the rest of them I'm not super in a hurry to finish so uh, things like this though bring me a lot of joy oh my gosh please save me from this hell I am living in I swear this is so There we go. Third time's the charm, right? Look how good that looks. This page is all done. That makes me really happy. Now, I don't know where I'm going to put this. This is, okay, that's the end of that. Kind of a miscellaneous card. I guess I will put this here for now. It doesn't really go with anything else. It should technically probably go on its own page, but I don't want to start a whole new nine pocket just for this. This is um, the little cutout divider card from last year's season's greetings. I did not pick up this season's greetings much as I wanted to because it sold out really fast. So that's kind of a shame, but that's okay. So for Ming Hall, my goals, complete Korean album photo cards, complete Japanese album photo cards, and then whatever other ones I want. <laughs> I have on my Instagram the templates for all of his unit cards and all of his non-album photo cards. Uh, so things like Carrot Land, Dome Tour, uh, Japanese Tour, concert DVDs, things like that. Uh, those are not really my priority. I'm gonna pick them up as I find good deals or like my favorite designs. Hopefully someday I will be able to complete them, but there are just so many of them that I don't think that's realistic. So in 2020, I started with the grand plan to collect all of Ming Hall's Korean photo cards and then Mingyu, Chen, and Joshua as the rest of my bias line. Not complete, just pick and choose maybe one or two cards from every album. I changed my mind. <laughs> I still have a lot of Mingyu and Chen photo cards and I still love Mingyu and Chen. And just like Pei says in their videos, just because we are choosing to collect someone else or um, choosing not to collect a certain way anymore it doesn't mean we love those members any less it's just what brings us joy in our collection and I think as something really important is don't be afraid to change your mind you were the only one in charge of your collection just because other people are collecting a certain way doesn't mean you have to collect a certain way either if you don't want to collect the photo cards or inclusions for an era you don't have to do that I just think doing what makes you happy and spending money on the things that make you happy, whatever that is, whether it's photo cards, whether it's fan made goods, whether it's official goods that aren't photo cards, like just support <laughs> your favorite groups and your biases in a way that makes you happy. You deserve to be happy and not stressed out about something that is supposed to bring us joy. So that's my little soapbox moment. <laughs> but. Uh, I think it should be said because not enough people say it. I think things can get really competitive in collecting communities like this because a lot of people want to get, you know, the most likes on a picture of their collection or be known or a big name fan or something like that. And for those of us who are active on a bunch of different social media sites, whether it be Twitter or Instagram or YouTube, I think it is really easy to fall into that. But you don't have to, <laughs> just do what makes you happy and people who are interested in the same groups as you or people will be drawn to that good energy. And I think that more than anything is my 2021 goal is just, I wanna be happy and I wanna do the things that make me happy. 2020 was a hard year for a lot of people for myriad reasons and I don't wanna to contribute to 2021 being any harder than it has to be. So that's that for me. Oh, I already have this card. Well, that's going up for trade. So if you guys need the 
Joshua director's cut. I think this is the quad version card. I don't even know. Um, but if you need this, uh, it's just going up for trade. <laughs> that said, I do need a second nine pocket for this. So I lost a little bit of footage there. Sorry, I don't know what happened, <laughs> but all I did was uh, rearrange semicolon and hangare, the Joshua cards that I have here on this page. And I'm gonna rearrange these to accommodate for some of my other cards. So we'll just do that really quick. So I'm gonna admit something really embarrassing. Um, I didn't know why people put their cards in the individual penny sleeves to put them in their binders. I was like, I guess it's an additional level of protection. It's easier to move. You're not worrying about bending the card so much. Um, that's not why. I realized I had been putting them in like a regular pocket. So like this. And then I realized after watching one of Pay's videos that you put it in upside down, like when you're trading a photo card so that your card doesn't fall out of your binder. <laughs> um, totally did not cross my mind as a, as a concept at all. Um, so basically all of my binders are set up where it's just like another pocket. Why did I do it that way? <laughs> um, so eventually when I do a binder tour, I'm probably gonna fix that. But right now that is not the way that that is set up. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. Yeah, with Joshua, because it's such slow going, I don't have my binder set up the same way I do with my Ming Hall one, where I have left space for each of the cards. Uh, these ones I am just expanding as I gain more cards. So that is really nice for now. So yay, Joshua album cards. Looks good for now. Looks good for now. All right, Japanese cards. I still just need one more. One more Caroline card. What on earth do I have going on here? Oh, am I gonna have no space? Yes, yes I will. Okay, I'm gonna move my Japanese cards up to the top. This is you getting in real time. Oh, I need to shift this up. <laughs> this is you getting in real time what it is like for me to just wing everything all the time. Uh, probably because I'm a Gemini <laughs> that that doesn't bother me so much um, but yeah I really don't mind flying by the seat of my pants changing uh, the way I do things quite a lot so I think I'm happy with that so I have my fan sign card here as well I believe this one is the sound wave one also look how handsome he looks oh I'm so happy with this I think that looks so nice um, Put that here because technically not an album card but it's not something else like it seems album card adjacent uh theoretically i could put it here with semicolon but it didn't really go <laughs> um but i love it anyway uh, we'll put this one here from our season's greeting just for someone to put it and we'll move this over to accommodate I don't technically think this is an official card, even though it came with official concert goods. This came with the badge button from Ode to You, uh, but I like it and it's official enough to me, so it goes in the binder. I also want to protect it. Ugh. I like slightly larger cards. I know a lot of people complain about Pentagon cards being a little bit too big, um, or some trading cards and pre-order cards being too big, but I actually really like it when they're just a little bit bigger and they fit perfectly inside the nine pocket. Uh, if I am putting something in my binder, I love that so much. Um, but I know how a lot of people are getting into those Sanrio like ID card holders for their photo cards and I think that's so cute. So I actually went on Mercari and picked up a couple of badge holders, card cases, things like that. Uh, so I'm hoping to do a little something something this year with those um, or possibly even get into making something like that of my own because you know me, I love crafts. <laughs> if you have been following this channel, you know that. So I think that's it for Joshua. Talked about that. Um, I have a few 
other cards to put in. I bought my first season's greetings ever, uh, the 17 season's greetings <laughs> uh, for 2021. So I'm going to be putting those cards in here. So when I have an OT13 set, I usually rank them by age line. So I'm gonna do that here. This is literally so painful to watch. I am so sorry. These cards are just so pretty. They look so nice. I wasn't going to purchase the 17 Seasons Greeting this year. Um, I, like a lot of people, was like, oh, but it's not Rose Quartz and Serenity. You know, the branding on it looks a little bit... It's not that I didn't like it. I really, really liked it. Um, but I think I bought into the rhetoric where a lot of people were like, well, it looks really simple on the outside. But then I thought about it and it was like, I don't really care what it looks like on the outside so much, which I know for somebody who is as obsessed with aesthetic as me seems a little outrageous. Uh, but I saw pictures of the inside content and that totally sold me. I thought 17 looked beautiful as always and that's the reason why <laughs> all of us are in this right because we love the members and we want to support them that's why i'm in it anyway so there is 95 and 96 and then we'll do 97 and muck man line Ugh, but look how satisfying that is I love that. <laughs> and I put these away, not necessarily in age order. I always make them in call eight. So in call is eight. And you is ninth. And I know I'm still doing this wrong. And at this point, you're like, why? What is the point? <laughs> why even bother? And the answer is a resounding, I don't know. <laughs> um, I think I like the extra layer of protection it affords, even if I am not doing it right. Um, and it will remind me which ones I have done and which ones I haven't done when it comes to replacing them. They just look so nice. It makes me so happy. Yay. And 97, 98, and our 99 Mokne. And then one final thing. I have a dedicated area for the stickers that I obtain. Any K-pop stickers I get have to be housed in a designated sticker area. And we have these great 17 stickers from the season's greetings. I love these little die cut member stickers. I think these are great. I don't know what I'm gonna use them on yet. I'm gonna make sure, oh, I forgot I put the in there. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with this either, but probably hang my keychains from it because I have a lot of those too. Is that how you say that? Is it Caravaner? I don't know. The little clip thing. <laughs> but my designated K-pop sticker area is in this little accordion file. I have a washi tape sample with June on it in there. Hi June. <laughs> but I have these sorted by official, unofficial, uh, and then 17 had their own section because there are so many official stickers for 17, but I have, by, for example, the stickers from an ode, so these will go in that section for safekeeping. 
All right, my friends, so I think that takes care of me for now. Let me know what your 2021 goals are. Uh, I would love to hear them, see how you're planning on collecting. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Be well. I'll see you later. Bye.